Hello everyone, welcome back to another video in our first unit on EDA. In this video, we're going to talk about another wrong approach to storing data in NumPy, or not in NumPy, in Python. So if you recall from a previous video, we had our list of lists representing the data that we wanted to store. Um, so we imagined that this was, you know, prices of things, quantities, who sold the item, and what's their seller rating. So this next approach is uh, one that you might think of next. So if not a list of lists, what about a NumPy array? So NumPy has a lot of advantages. Um, let's talk about why that's not a good idea for this case either. So first thing I'm going to do is let's import NumPy as NP. So that's looking good. And then now let's convert sample list to a NumPy array. So I'll say ARR equals NP.array. Let's do sample list. And if we want, we can take a look at ARR. So this is looking good so far. We can say, well, what's the type of ARR? And we can see this is the n-dimensional NumPy array. So this is looking nice so far. And remember, we wanted to compute the average of the rating. So that was kind of our, our goal for the first video. Let's talk about how we could do the same thing here. Now, for those of you who have a little bit of experience with Python, you might notice something fishy here. Um, see if you can spot it if you haven't noticed yet, but this will come back in just a moment. So, okay, so we want to get this last piece of information. So remember, we can use slicing to get this last column. I can say ARR, take all of the rows in the last column. So remember, the notation for that, for the shortcut is negative one. So this is looking good. So here we get 4.9, 2.5, 4.1. That's looking good. As a really quick aside, so this is showing us an advantage of um, NumPy over using the list of lists method. For instance, if I did something like sample list and I tried to slice like this, it would give an error. Um, so just one advantage already, but okay. Uh, we have this last column. Let's now try to take the average. So I'm going to say ARR. Again, all rows in the last column. Let's take the average. And what's going on here? So in a previous video, in our previous lecture, uh, we were able to use dot mean just fine with a NumPy array. And the issue here is that the data type, so this is kind of a hint here. Let's go back to the array. The data type of all of the elements, these are all strings. So for instance, let's double check. I can say, what's the type of ARR? Let's look at index zero row in index zero, or let's do the last one, so negative one column. And it's saying here, it's a NumPy string. So what's happening, and kind of one big drawback of using a NumPy array, is NumPy wants all of the elements in the array to have the same data type. But if you remember back to our original example, we really want kind of uh, mixed data types, right? So prices are going to be floating points. Quantities are going to be integers. The name of the seller is going to be a string and the rating is going to be a floating point. So NumPy is gonna force everything to be the same data type. So because we had strings, it's forcing everything to be a string and we can't take the average of a string. So one thing we can do so we can still answer the question is we can convert the values, but just outside of the NumPy array. So what I mean by that is I could say, okay, let's take ARR again, all rows in the last column. And I can say dot as type float. And then what it's doing is it's interpreting all of the numbers as floating points. And then I could take the mean. So here we get the average. Um, alternatively, what we could do is we could try to convert uh, individual elements. So this would be casting to a float. I could say ARR, let's take zero index row, last column, and it's returning 4.9. So then we'd have to convert all of them and take the average. So again, this is why we don't want to use a NumPy array to represent our data. The biggest issue is uh, it's very natural for data we're storing to take different types. So we might have strings, integers, floating points, and we want to maintain all of those different data types. NumPy arrays are gonna force them to all be the same thing. So in the next video, we'll see a solution to this in Pandas. 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you there.